Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Hey folks, this week the question comes from Nancy Hutchinson who says, A friend of mine's version of Photoshop, their menus look quite different than mine. How is that possible? Well, Nancy, this is actually a pretty cool idea because a lot of us find if we're using Photoshop and you go, for example, let's use, I always use this example because to me it's the best one. Under the filter menu to sharpen, there are five choices for sharpening. I only ever use one of these two. These other three, I never use them. And you could go through and find lots of filters and for that matter, a lot of things under various menus that you don't ever use. So what your friend very likely did is they edited their menus. So they go to edit menu, way down at the bottom you choose menus. It's actually the same panel as we talked about last week to do keyboard shortcuts. So we go for example to the filter menu and go down, down, down till the final go sharpen and we say I don't want this one, this one, or this one. So now all I have is visible is sharp, smart sharpen, unsharp mask. Now it's important to note that what we're doing is hiding elements under menu, not removing them completely. So when I click OK, as soon as I go to the filter menu, now you see when I go to sharpen, there's only those two choices, which is pretty cool. Now, in case you suddenly decide, I don't know why you would, but just for the sake of argument, that you decide, oh wait, I really want to do sharpen edges. If you choose show, show all menu items, it temporarily shows them again. So you don't have to ever worry that things are gone, it just means for now. Now where this extends upon this is you can take this in interesting ways. For example, I'm not a big fan of this command called flatten image. In fact, I never use it. I might use some other ones, but to narrow down my choices, you could also do the same thing. Menus, but in this case goes to go to panel menus and then find the layers panel. Look at the options under here and eventually I would see there is an option called flatten image. So if I hide that, sure enough, now that option is not available. Now as I mentioned last week if you happen to see it, but if you didn't, when you change something like menus or last week we talked about keyboard shortcuts, they will stay that way until you change them again. But just so you can switch back and forth very easily, one of the options is to create a new workspace. And one of the options in that workspace is to include any custom menus. So if you wanted to have two different sets of menus, one where you really narrow down your choice for certain types of work, whatever that might be, and then another one that's back to normal, you could easily do that simply by creating two workspaces and then switching between them and it would also change the keyboard shortcuts and or menus at the same time. So it's actually a really nice way to narrow down your choices and spend less time looking through long menus simply by editing your menus to give you less choices. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.